Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Udinsky. In this moment in history, let's explore one of the most famous legends in the history of America's pastime, the game of baseball. In 1919, the Boston Red Sox inexplicably sold their star pitcher and power hitter Babe Ruth, also known as the Great Bambino, to the New York Yankees after Ruth had led the Sox to multiple championships. This forever changed the fate of both franchises. And for the next 86 years, the Red Sox never won a championship, often losing playoff games in heartbreaking fashion. They most often and most notably lost to their rival New York Yankees. These two arch rivals would be forever linked by the subject of today's moment in history, the curse of the Bambino. Now, baseball historians refer to the 86 years between the Red Sox 1918 and 2004 championships as the curse of the Bambino, largely due to the baffling chokehold that the Yankees seemed to have over the Red Sox after the Ruth trade. The Yankees would win 26 World Series during that time span, the first four largely thanks to Babe Ruth's stellar play in his 15 seasons with the team. As the Yankees soared to the top of Major League Baseball, the Red Sox sank into mediocrity. But in 1946, the team went back to the World Series against the St. Louis Cardinals. The series went the full seven games, and in the ninth inning of Game 7, Eno Slaughter of the Cardinals scored from first base after Red Sox shortstop Johnny Pesky held onto a relay throw for a second too long, losing the game and the series. The Red Sox lost two more World Series in 1967 and 1976. Now, in 1978, the Red Sox blew an eight-game lead over the Yankees in the last month and a half of the season. Both teams finished the regular season with the same record, forcing a winner-take-all one-game playoff at Fenway Park in Boston. Late in the game, weak-hitting Yankee shortstop Bucky Dent lofted a fly ball into left field that barely cleared the massive wall at Fenway, which would give the Yankees a stunning 3-2 win and knock the Red Sox out of the playoffs. As if it couldn't get any worse, the most infamous collapses came in 1986 and 2003. In Game 6 of the 1986 World Series, the Red Sox were one out away from winning the series, and at times they were one strike away with a 5-3 lead over the Mets. They gave up three hits and a passed ball, allowing the Mets to tie the game. And then first baseman Bill Buckner famously let a ground ball go through his legs, and the Sox lost Game 6. They lost Game 7 and the series the next night. In 2003, they had a 5-2 lead in the eighth inning of Game 7 of the ALCS against, you guessed it, the Yankees. The Sox gave up a rally in the eighth, and after a few scoreless innings, another weak New York hitter, Aaron Boone, hit a walk-off home run in extra innings to send the Yankees to the World Series and the Red Sox home once again. Finally, in 2004, the Red Sox got their revenge. In an ALCS rematch, the Sox beat the Yankees in dramatic fashion, becoming the first team to win a seven-game series after falling behind three games to none. The Sox then swept the Cardinals to win their first World Series in 86 years, finally ending what historians would remember as the curse of the Bambino. Thanks so much for joining me once again for a moment in history.